boys and girls, welcome back. Today we're going to go over the C6 Z06 versus the C6 Grand Sport. I'm going to touch on a few key points such as what is the actual difference? Is there a clear better buy? Reliability, cost of ownership, which if either are collectible or going to be collectible, and my personal final thoughts. Uh, I do know that there is a 2013 427, which is a Z06 convertible, but I'm not going to touch that. That's a very unique one-off situation. That might be a video for another segment or something. All right, so let's go ahead and get into that. All right, now before I go any further, I want to say I'm a little hesitant to post this video given the polarity, if you will, in forms I came across, the cutthroat nature. Uh, people are very passionate about which one they own. Uh, this is not me saying, oh, this one is definitely better. This is just a tool for you to use if you're on the fence trying to pick which one. I'm in no way saying, oh, this one's clearly much better. And if you don't buy this one, you're stupid. That's not my point. And I'm sure someone will take this personal, this video of me comparing them. That's not my, my intention. So that's my disclaimer. Okay, let's start for real now. Oh, my Z06 is up on jacks. I'm getting a new, well, I'm putting in a new master cylinder, clutch master cylinder. The one in there is a Woodward 1.18 bore. It's absurdly heavy. And I thought it was a tick when I bought it. It's not, so the tick's in the mail, whatever. Okay, let's start with the, the differences between the two cars. Start with the exterior. Now they're both wide bodies, obviously. The rims are different. The front fenders are different. Same size, but different. The Z06 has, has a true carbon fiber front fender where the Grand Sport just has one made out of fiberglass, whatever the fiberglass composite they use now. And the gills are a little different than the Z06. The Grand Sport has a removable top, target top, or a convertible option. The exhaust tips are a little bigger on the Z06, and the badging. As far as the exterior, those are the biggest differences. I think all the differences. Now, personally, real quick, I was never a fan of the GS rims. They look heavy and bulky, never a fan. The interiors of the two cars, and even including the base, are pretty much identical. The only differences are going to be which trim level you choose, 1LT, 2LT, etc, etc. Between the two models though, in the cluster, if you have a Z06, it'll say Z06. If you have a Grand Sport on the steering wheel, it'll say Grand Sport. Now, engineering point of view of both cars, this is where it's much different. The Z06 has a much more stout driveline, a, uh, a all aluminum frame, which is probably the biggest difference in my opinion outside the motor. You really can't change the frame. So when you buy one, just know that. You're getting an aluminum frame, the Z06, you're gonna steel frame with the Grand Sport. And it's gonna save you a few hundred pounds getting the aluminum Z06. The suspension slightly beefed up on the Z06, and the Z06 is only available in a standard transmission. The C6 is the last generation to do that, putting the standard transmission exclusively in the top tier models. The C7, the Z06, and the Z01, you can get both of those, a convertible and automatic. Quick little side note. The Z06 comes with a 505 LS7 motor, which is seven liters. And the GS came with the run of the mill LS3, 6.2 liter, putting out 535 horsepower. Both share the same brake engineering, which are very good, especially for the time period. Awesome brake. Even today, they're really good brakes. Performance, the GS is capable of hitting 60 in roughly 4.2 seconds, where the Z06 can hit zero to 60 in roughly 3.4 seconds. That is a pretty considerable difference given the only 75 horsepower uh, advantage of the Z06. The exhaust note. I've never driven an LS7. Um, I've heard it. I've driven the GS uh, C6. The LS7, in my opinion, sounds better. Uh, sounds more all business, a little more exotic. The LS3s just sounds like you're running the middle. LS3, it can be remedied though with, uh, you know, headers, a decent cam, you can get a pretty cool sound out of it. But out of the box, the LS7 does sound better, in my opinion. Now, which is the better buy? This is a very relative, subjective topic. It pretty much depends on your own personal needs. If you're very track focused and you're just worried about track times and auto crossing, you don't care about a fixed roof, the Z06 probably is the way to go. If you don't care about that as much, you're like more of a, a cruiser, road trip, and etc., taking the top off, the GS is probably your better bet. And you probably get a little better gas mileage with the GS. And also, if you have to have an automatic, GS is pretty much your only option. 
All right, reliability. Here's where a lot of people get caught up on making this decision because on the GS you have the tried and true LS3, very bulletproof motor. And then you have the Z06 with the LS7, which is kind of a one-off motor. It's still an LS platform, but modified. There are reliability issues, mostly with the valve train. There's lots of theories on why. Uh, one theory is that there's the high lift cams and stock rocker arms. Pretty much that means there's more side loading on the valve, causing premature and additional wear. Another theory is valve coating, more specifically valve coating wear. Now while it's true titanium hates everything that isn't titanium, people are more prone to believing the coating simply wears quicker given the side load issue which pretty much allows the titanium to go to work on the remaining guide. So you get an increased abrasion from the titanium. And another theory floating around is the longer valves with the same length guide. The guides are the same length as the other LS engines. However, the valves are longer. Nearly all of the additional length is between the bottom of the guide and the valve seat. And lastly, the LS7 tends to not like boost given the cylinder walls are considerably thinner than that of the LS3. Ownership cost. When these were coming out brand new, there was about a $20,000 difference. You could get a decently spec'd Grand Sport non-convertible for about $55,000, a very comparable Z06 running about $75,000. Now today on the secondhand market, those numbers are still pretty accurate. Mileage for mileage, trim for trim, you're gonna pay about 15% more for a decent example of either one, for the Z06 that is. Good low mileage Z06, Right now, I uh, will run you about $38,000, $39,000, a very comparable Grand Sport running about $32,000, just for comparison. And also keep in mind the LS3 is going to be easier to maintain, and the parts are going to be more easily available, and probably a little cheaper. And as far as insurance goes, if you're worried about insurance, the Z06 is substantially more than the Grand Sport. Uh, from quotes I've seen online, people posting, you're gonna pay about 20 to 25% more for the Z06. All right, which, if any, are collectible or might be collectible? Now, the cards are still new-ish. It'll be a while before you can really say definitively, oh, the Z06 is definitely gonna be a collector, the other Grand Sport, etc. Now, interestingly enough, they made more Z06s than Grand Sports, but the Z06 carries more weight, more lineage in the name. Numbers-wise, there was roughly 28,000 Z06s made in its eight year run. The, the Grand Sport only had a four year run, but they made about 18,000 of those. All right, now my, my final thoughts. I've always liked the C6. I had a C6, but it was a base model. But like I said, I've driven the Grand Sport. Now the base model to the Grand Sport, driving them too, I really didn't notice much of a difference, but looks wise, the Grand Sport looks a lot better than the base model, than the, the narrow body. But yeah, if I were to pick one or the other, I personally would pick a Grand Sport just because I'm not too track focused. I don't autocross really ever. I like the ability to take the top off, target top. One thing about my Z06 I don't like is that I can't take the top off. It's kind of irritating, but I can live with it with this one. I do hate the rims though on the Grand Sport C6. I would probably be a poser and put Z06 rims on it. Find me in the comments. I would do basic bolt-ons to the LS3, getting, getting it sounded pretty good. Maybe a tiny cam upgrade. And of course, a standard transmission. Now, both of these cars are awesome, gorgeous cars. There really is no winner. One's clearly, oh my God, it's so much better. The purists will say the, the Z06 is clearly better. And if you don't have a Z06, you're an idiot. Um, and that's just your opinion. If you think that, that's fine. The same is true for Grand Sport owners. They're gonna tell you if you didn't get the Grand Sport, you're stupid because it's like the best of both worlds. There really is no winner, which is kind of frustrating. Well, either way, I hope this comparison helped you make a decision. I hope it didn't make it harder for you. That wasn't my intention. But yeah, the C6 wide body, gorgeous car. You can't go wrong. Well, that's it guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick little C6 Z06 Grand Sport comparison. And I'll see you guys in a few days for another Forgotten Failure episode. Later guys.